Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I have received this HP XT60 laptop and it's completely dead. So I will try to fix this motherboard and I will show you how to fix this kind of motherboard. So let's try to fix it. So uh, as you can see, this is a motherboard part number. This one. And uh, now I will check this motherboard impedance and uh, I need to confirm this motherboard has a uh, short or not so I need to set my multimeter in beep mode as you can hear and uh, first I will check this MOSFET here as you can see this is a charging connector and this line is come here and then come here so I put this uh, back proof here and I touch this MOSFET and uh, as you can see it's beeping it should not beep here but it's beeping that means this motherboard main power rail is short to ground as you can hear also this current sensing resistor so how to I will find out which parts is short on this motherboard? It's a very simple technique, and this is a very common technique uh, injecting voltage. So, I set my power supply mm. is uh, 1 volt and 5 ampere, and I put this black probe in ground, another with my tweezer, and then I will uh, touch this current sensing resistor here so as you can see it's taking more than 2 ampere that means this motherboard is fully short and now I will uh, put my hand everywhere like this and try to feel which parts it's getting hot which area is getting hot so on this motherboard uh, other side no components all the components this top side so I don't need to flip this motherboard but I can feel hot nothing nothing if I have a thermal can so I can easily find out but nothing is hot So I need to remove this uh, heat sink. I will inject voltage again on this current sensing resistor and let me check SOC and CPU no, it's not getting hot also because uh, sometimes sometimes this kind of IC 3 volt 5 volt 1.8 volt 1 volt prime voltage this IC getting short and uh, if this kind of IC getting short sometimes this IC uh, cannot heat cannot heat by injecting voltage so sometimes it's difficult to find out short power component so now i will uh, check under my microscope if i found anything uh, short component this color corroded or uh, blown capacitor i try to find out and then i will show you so as you can see this capacitor so I will check this with my multimeter and it's uh, it's getting beep so what should I do first I need to uh, remove this cap here then I will check
it's sometimes very uh, it's easy to find out short or bad components by injecting voltage from power supply but sometimes it's too difficult to find out this kind of short components yes come on Okay, as you can see I removed this capacitor and now I will check here by multimeter. Whoa, no more beeps here. That means this capacitor is short. So let me show you. As you can see here, this little crack. See this one? Yes, it's broken. So it's completely short. So maybe I successfully fix this motherboard. So I need to check first. Okay, so we have done. Now I will check this motherboard is uh, okay or not. So connect power supply. Let me show the power supply. It's not taking any ampere. So now I will press the power button. No. So as you can see, when I press this power button, it's not turning on. So that means this board is not ready yet. So now I will check some required voltage on this uh, motherboard. <coughs> so I set my mother multimeter in the DC mode. And first I will check here. We have 18.97, that means 19 volt present. Then 3 volt and 5 volt should be these two coil. So 3 volt is not present. 5 volt is present. So I guess this 3 volt is a suspension voltage. After press the power button, this voltage will generate here. So if I check the LDO. Uh, as you can see, this LDO voltage 3.3 volt is present. So that means now what should I check? Uh, I will check impedance of this 3 volt line. Is there any short or not? So I set my multimeter in diode range and I touch here. Okay, 339. That means the, this 3 volt power rail is not short to ground. So, what next? Uh, next is uh, switching voltage. So, I need to check the switching voltage on this power switch here. So, number one is ground, number two is. Okay, there is no switching volt. As you can see here, there is no switching mode. So now I will open my schematic. So, so I have a board view file for this uh, board. So I need to open this board view. So this is the board view, so I need to uh, find a switch here, this is switch 2, location is here, so as you can see, the, 
the number one and three is uh, brown. Uh, pin number two is uh, connect with this register. So as you can see, I just close a little bit this register and here also capacity. So I will check this register first. So let me show you under microscope. Here, as you can see here, so connect our right, power supply again, and let me check this transistor. We have a uh, 3.3 volt, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So other side, here also 3.3 volt. Strange, but. We have no good. Oh my god. See this thing. Remember, you can see this? Yes. I don't know how it's happened here. See here? Yes, yes. Okay, so first I will fix this area, then I will check again. Somehow this uh, switching, somehow this power switch is uh, shoulder here, as you can see. pad is uh, broken somehow this pad is broken so I will make a jumper from pin number 2 to this register here so let's do it again so let me check here this register this side to this So okay, we have done. Now I will check the switching bolt is okay or not. So this is uh, pin number two. Now three bolt is okay. 
So if I press the power button and it's turning on. Oh, look at that. It's turning on. So it's feel very happy when I can uh, fix this kind of problem. So let me check the display is okay or not. So I need to wait for a few seconds. It's taking ampere is uh, normal. Okay, it's done. Okay, it's done. 